Thanks for being here. Dave in Schenectady, New York. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> Paul, you talked about the amp's sound signature that one would want to reproduce. And you want the sub to disappear. I think another factor is timing. Though through a sub out bypasses your uh, though a sub out bypasses your amp, it takes time for the signal to go through the amp before it gets to the sub. So hooking the sub up with the speaker level outs sinks the sub to the speakers and the sub truly disappears. I find this in my system, but is my thinking correct? It certainly works for me. So I think what Dave is saying is what I have been preaching for many, many years as John Hunter, my, my good buddy over at Rel Subs has been preaching as well, we seem like the only voices in, in, in the forest that are preaching the idea of using the high level inputs on your subwoofer as fed from the power amplifier outputs, the ones that go to your loudspeakers, your mains, use those to feed the subwoofer. And the reason we say that is because the sonic signature of the power amplifier goes into the subwoofer. And since we all, I hope, understand the idea behind a subwoofer is to not be heard. We don't want to hear our subs. We want to have our main speakers sound like they have bass, whether they do or they don't, and to sound natural in the room. I never want to go, oh, there's a subwoofer. Or like, whoa, that bass is coming from right there. You don't want to do that. So the more you can carry the signature of your entire system into the subwoofer, the closer you're going to get to that holy grail of having the subwoofer disappear. So what Dave is asking is, is part of that not just the sound signature of the amplifier, but if you took it before the amplifier, it would come in quicker electrically than it would if it passed through the power amplifier, which would delay it somehow, and so that evening up. And while he's accurate in a semantic sense, the quick answer is no. That would make no difference because the amount of time it takes for that signal to get through a power amplifier versus taking it directly from the amplifier input is so small and we're dealing with frequencies so low that it would make no difference whatsoever. Now, the, the, what you're hearing, Dave, is what we've been preaching for as long as I can remember. The sonic signature of an amplifier, and all amplifiers have sonic signatures, and I'm sorry if you don't believe that. It's true. All amplifiers have a sound to them. And what you want to do is capture that sound and reproduce it as best you can through the subwoofer so you don't hear the sub. That's the key. Okay? Thanks for the question. It's a good one. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>